Hey guys, welcome back to part two and uh, DNS spoofing with set and Edercat. So um, we got our uh, clone site here. I mean, if you went to your internet here and you know tested it out, it should uh, take you to the uh, Facebook page, like so. When I typed in my IP address, so um. Now, uh, all you gotta do is, um, yeah, it showed some stuff here, but, um, now we're gonna be setting up Ettercap. So, um, we want to open another shell here, another window and terminal, and, uh, we want to, uh, type in here. Uh, IP tables dash capital F hit enter and it may look like it didn't do anything but it did its job it uh, flushed out all the rules and set of rules on the IP tables so um, now we want to do an echo one and then shift period okay and then uh, space slash proc slash sys slash net slash IP version 4 slash IP underscore forward press enter okay now we need to locate the uh, editor cap DNS file okay editor dot DNS hit enter okay we got the uh, path we want to copy this path And now we want to do use your favorite editor. I'm uh, uh, I prefer Nano just because it's easier, and I don't want to mess up during this tutorial. So um, just paste the uh, path in there. Press Enter. Now you want to scroll down to the bottom where it says Windows or Microsoft sucks, and then see I've already added it in here. So I use the wire card sign that puts. Pacif uh, pacifies uh, the um, anything before Facebook it will you know it'll pick it up it will spoof it okay and it'll redirect it to the IP address which is over here so um, type in the the target website which is what I've done here uh, capital A and then uh, the IP address for backtrack okay and then um, once you've done that, do a control O, save it, control X, exit. And then um, once it's saved and it, you exit out, now you're ready to uh, test it out. So you can either open up Ettercat, the GUI interface, and navigate to the plugins, enable the, the DNS spoofing, or you can go in a terminal like I am now, and you can just type in Ettercat space dash t capital T space dash Q lowercase Q space dash uppercase M space ARP sorry I spelled that wrong ARP remote a yeah, colon remote space dash P DNS underscore spoof space don't forget that space and then slash slash a backward slash okay or whatever you want to call it okay um press enter okay now it's doing its thing so uh once you activate the doing the dns and uh dns spoof plugin and everything you should be able to pick up everything that's on that net network so anyone on that network that you're connected to that they go to Facebook or their Hotmail, whatever that you set as the target, you know they'll they'll get poisoned. Okay, they'll get art poisoned. So let's go ahead and test this out here. So I'm going to open my Firefox browser here. I'm going to go and type uh, Facebook.com. Okay, and then I'm going to type in something random your email at email.com password I'm just gonna put 
Um, blah, blah, and I'm gonna do some backspaces so I can show you guys something. Backspace twice, and then I'm gonna type in a number uh, 12. Okay, one, two, and then I'm gonna click login. Nothing happened. You see that? It just kind of looked like it refreshed. Now, when I exit out of here and we look back here, look what happened. It detected everything. Even the backspace that got deleted, that the A H got deleted, and I put 12 in there. It detected all that for the uh, editor cat. It will also be detected under the um, the uh, set the the script that we have. See, it also detected in there, and it even gives you some parameters in there that shows you what the character sets were and you know the location everything so um the IP address you know everything that happened so I think it's pretty cool it even shows you know the encryption key and everything you know the encryption how big the key was and everything but this is how it works and uh, I hope you guys learned some a few things from DNS spoofing to prevent the prevention behind this if you're running your own DNS server I suggest you take a look at open DNS open DNS is very secure and it will prevent any of this happening okay so you wouldn't have to worry for about any of this stuff happening as long as you keep it up to date and everything it should be good so that would be the the, the prevention of this so um, as you can see the network at home the DNS server from my ISP is not secure okay obviously I was able to DNS spoof with no problem so uh, comment rate subscribe let me know how everything was from part one to part two I appreciate it, appreciate you guys watching thank you so much talk to you guys later